Hello friends, this is Ishwa here and in this video let us see the review of iOS 11.4 Beta 1 on the iPhone Pius. So let's get started. First of all let me show you that I'm in iOS 11.3. Yeah, iOS 11.3 and this is the version number. So the available storage is 2.23 GB right now and after updating let us see how much it has reduced or increased. So let us get into software update and here it is iOS 1.4 developer beta. I have already downloaded it so let me install it now. So as you can see it has started to update and let us wait for the update to complete and I will meet you soon. So after updating let's see if there are any improvements in the Geekbench results or if the stability is improved. and. I also wanted the battery status option which uh, Apple gave to other iPhones but it isn't available in iPhone 5s. Let us see if the battery status option is available in iOS 9.4 in iPhone 5s. So in the meantime, let's wait for the update to complete. And as you can see, iPhone has been updated to iOS 9.4. So like the previous betas, we don't get any uh, screen like the privacy option which will pop up and let you continue with that uh, by reading that. So there's nothing like that, just get it in the iPhone without going through any screens. So let us just swipe through the OS and see if there is any stability improvements. So here it is the iOS 1.4 beta 1 and let us get into the settings menu and get into the about section. Oh my god, we get 4.53 GB that is awesome by Apple. Previously it was about 2.48 GB and it has increased a lot. After that, the last thing we need to do is the Geekbench test. Let us get into Geekbench test and let us run the benchmark. Let me talk about our channel for a few seconds. I am very confused of my concepts so please do leave some comments on what concepts should I do on the future videos and uh, uh, let me also know whether I should uh, go live stream or not and also tell me when should I go live stream and what is the suitable time for you, for you to get my videos and live stream too. I can use some custom URLs for my YouTube channel like uh, all other YouTube channels do. Let me know if you can suggest me some short names that I can keep for my YouTube URL. It will be available like for example youtube.com slash Prasad. So if I enter it, we will get into my channel. So yeah, the Geekbench results are here and the single core score is 1184 and the multi core score is 2088. So let us get into the history and let us compare with the previous versions. This is the previous 1st April 2018 which is the iOS 11.3 benchmark. So it is showing that it is 1166 whereas in iOS 1.4 it is 1184 so it is a, a bit of improvement not much here's the multi core score which is 2025 in iOS 1.3 and it is 2088 in iOS 1.4 so not a much of difference but just a two digit improvement which is not much noticeable for last let us get into the battery section and let us see if there is any improvements or any new options Tada, there's nothing improved, nothing changed, nothing new in here. So that's not at all great for iPhone 5s. They are, not, they are showing no sympathy for iPhone 5s, right? I do accept that uh, iPhone 5s is quite old, but battery status is just a software feature, right? They can just implement it if they can. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Peace.